Life without you just don't feel the same All I'm feeling is major pain I don't know why you had to go But girl, please come back, don't leave me all alone Yo, what it do, it's your boy MTZ King And I'm back on your screen I hope everybody has a great, amazing Thursday Man, time is just flying Today literally makes one month until my birthday Wow, that's crazy one month until my birthday it's like damn i was like it's already gonna be new year's eve and it's like dang it's, it's, it's already march like what the heck is that gonna be april next one like that's that's so mind-blowing to me time's just been going fast um uh like i said you know my birthday really means a lot to me because it just does like a lot of people are like oh it's just another day to me, my birthday means a lot to me. And this year, like I said, it's special because this year it's on Easter. It was so crazy yesterday when I went to Kroger with my dad and my brother. There's like Easter bunny stuff all over the place. And I'm just like, and then my brother's like, this is the Easter bunny. And I'm like, I'm the real Easter bunny. <laughs> uh, it's like, you just messing around with them. I even got a picture of my little brother with the Easter bunny. Um, like, it's just one that's with like, they have it like surrounded in the wine area. So I ended up getting a picture with him with the Easter Bunny. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Um, and I'm excited how my hair's coming out. I did cut my hair today just a while ago. But, you know, I cut my hair first. Then I ended up uh, cleaning uh, the bathroom. Like everything, the whole, you know, the bathtub, the I mopped, I swept, I did all that stuff. Uh, and yeah, um, yeah, now I got it and I just started getting ready and stuff. And the reason I did it like that, because you would think, like, all right, you should have did the restroom first and then cut your hair, but I didn't want to do that because then, like, I'm just, you know, scrubbing the, the tub and stuff, and then I'll have to do it all over again. I'm like, nah. I'm just going to do it like this, so I did it, and yeah, next thing you know, then I got ready, I got on a white shirt, I actually ironed my clothes today, that's crazy, I've been like in the mood of ironing my clothes, because that's something I used to do back in the day, I used to iron all my clothes every day, basically, so I got on some charcoal gray shorts, and got my white, my white Nike on, some gray socks, and my white tee, um, yeah, y'all been probably seeing me a lot in like white tees or in a lot of black tees. That's just like my wardrobe right now. It's like I have a phrase that I go, through, a phase that I go through. Cause for a minute you were seeing me in, in nothing but red tees, <laughs> and then it's like the black tees and the white tees. But black tees and white tees been something that I've always worn since I was little. Like when I was little, when I used to go, this was before any of the uniform I had to wear uniform. I would always like to be in just white tees. That was me, you know. It's like two of my pictures when I was in elementary, I was in white tees. <laughs> um, damn, if I could find them pictures, I would show y'all, but I think I know where the ones are. I don't know. Whenever I find them, I'll show y'all. And one of them is my favorite. I like the way my hair was. It's crazy. Like My hair was something like this, but I just would have these things that would go like, they would look like bangs, but it wasn't like down this way. Now it was two lines going down this way. I don't know, for some reason I got my favorite picture when I was little. Uh, and yeah, I just I just been chilling though. Just been cooling now. Um, uh, because it is ten. It's ten something. And right now at twelve I'm gonna get ready to take my medication and I will throw out the trash in a little bit. Usually I throw out the trash around 12 o'clock or 1 because uh, then I go check the mailbox and usually the mailman don't come. It's kind of crazy. Sometimes he comes early and sometimes he comes late. So there's like no telling. And right now, I'm really on the alert with the mail um, with the mailbox because my medication is coming through in the mail. Um, and I'm like, damn, because I've been out of that medication already for like two weeks, I think. And I don't have it. So my... My anxiety and my uh, my depression have been crazy. Um, I don't know if that's gonna like who's calling me. Yeah, 
that so my my ptsd has been just kicking in like badly and i just been trying to just ignore it but somebody can only ignore so much um and it's like one minute i could be really happy the next minute i'm just like ugh like it's just crazy um but yeah um otherwise though today it's probably gonna be the same routine like usually go to the store go see my goddaughter and just chill that's like my daily routine every day guys like i know y'all probably sick and tired of seeing me about like this dude but that's part of me vlogging about my life you know what i'm saying it's not anything oh my god to me it's special but to y'all it might be like damn dude you're doing the same thing every day but you know what i'm saying this is my daily vlog is what i do on a day daily basis uh but yeah um Mark down below when's your birthday. I want to know when's y'all birthday. Mark down below so I can give y'all a happy birthday shout out. I said that in the beginning, like when I started vlogging and stuff, that you know, I wanted y'all to drop down y'all birthday so I can give y'all birthday shout outs. Or, um, you know, let me know when you subscribe so I can give you a shout out. And, you know, uh, if it does, because sometimes my comments go disabled. I do not disable them. I promise I don't disable my comments. Um, sometimes they get disabled, sometimes they don't. So, like, if they are disabled or turned off, y'all can hit me up on my Instagram, which is mtzking04. And, yes, I do have two Instagrams, but one, that one that I just gave y'all, that's for, like, my social media, um, platform for, like, all my supporters. And my other one is more, like, family and, you know. Family and people that I actually like grew up with or I know from school and stuff like that. But I'd rather y'all hit me up on the one that I just gave y'all because, like I said, on the other one, I really don't be adding people unless I know you. So if y'all hit me up on the other one, y'all will most definitely get added on that one. So yeah. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna catch y'all in a bit. But I hope y'all have a great day. And if you ain't having a great day, hopefully tomorrow looks better. And, you know, much love to everybody who is griefing right now. Uh, we lost a loved one. I know how that feels. I'm still griefing right now. I'm still griefing from, like, years ago, you know what I'm saying? And I know what it feels like. It's not easy. People will tell you that it's going to get better. But for me, honestly... I just feel like it gets worse because as the years go on, you're just like, damn. You're sitting there and you're thinking about it. It's like that day is still stuck. It's like you're still stuck in that day. And you're just like, damn, you know. Just, I, you, I, at least that's how I felt. I feel trapped, like, with all the losses that I had in my family and stuff. I feel, I feel trapped like there's no way out because I didn't get to grief the way I wanted to grief. Because, you know, you always have people tell you it's okay. And it's like, really? Is it is it really okay? Like, have you been, like, have you lost somebody? And usually the people that haven't lost somebody will be the ones to tell you that it's okay. But then when they lose somebody, they realize, you know what, it's not okay. Um, all we could do, though, is just keep our head up and keep going. Because I'm not going to be like, oh, no, it's going to get it's gonna get better. Because I know, it, for me, it, it, like I said, I feel trapped. Um, but yeah, my condolences to everybody who has lost anybody, and much love, and I'll catch y'all in a bit, though. Chill. Yo, what up, squad? I came outside to throw some trash. Now I'm about to go check the mailbox real quick. Um, but yeah, that feels good out here. I ended up changing shirts because I got a chorizo on my other one. <laughs> I was cooking, and I got the chorizo on my I'm sure they popped everywhere. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll catch you on the pistol. Chill. What are you doing? Hmm? <laughs> so what up, this squad? I hope everybody had a great, amazing day. And... 
you know what I'm saying? If you didn't, hopefully tomorrow's better. I kind of had a crazy day. I smashed the crap out of my finger. It's like the ring finger, but not my ring finger. Yeah, like I was saying, I messed up my, this finger right here. I don't know if you have to tell right there. It got caught at the bottom of the darn um, car. And it was just bleeding. It was bleeding for like an hour straight. That little thing was just bleeding, bleeding. I had to put so much pressure with baby wipes because... And fortunately, I was not with my mother. I was with my goddaughter and her grandmother and her sister. And when that happened, because my, my pen had fell down, so I was trying to get my pen. And as I tried to scoot the seat back, all of a sudden, my finger just got caught. And, oh, it hurt. Uh, I'm actually going to clean it right now when I take a shower. I'll put some peroxide, and then I'm going to put some medication that I have. Um, that's for my psoriasis that is good for infection. I'm gonna put that on there so I don't get infected. Uh, but yeah, and I was gonna love when I was at the store, but my goddaughter is just a handful because she does not like to be in the buggy, she likes to be walking around and whatnot. So yeah, um, that's how my day went. And tomorrow in the morning, I'm gonna go uh, pick up a letter from my doctor's office. And then I should just be chilling until it's time to go wash. And then I go wash tomorrow. And yep. Yeah. Anyway, so I hope you all had a great day. Thanks for all, all the love and support that y'all show me and continue to show me. It means a lot of me. And with that being said, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Much love and God bless. Chill. Days I go turn you off. Hope you feel the vibe when you hear this song. You a boss, I'm a boss too. Little baby, when I pull it, would you go?